<laughs> so today where are we going? Vietnam! We're off to Nam. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day one in Vietnam. This is our first time coming to Vietnam and we'd like to welcome you along on the journey with us. We're just heading to Don Moang Airport, which is in Bangkok, to travel to Hanoi, which is just a fl short flight, approximately one hour's 50 from Bangkok. And we flew to Hanoi, which is the capital of Vietnam. As I've mentioned on other videos, we are just normal people like you. We're not AI voices or people trying to sell you something every five minutes. So welcome to Vietnam. We have just arrived and we are going to have a fun time. Once we get through security. And after getting through security, there are lots of people near the exit of the airport offering you taxis. Like most places we visit in Asia, we use an app called Grab. And this works in Vietnam too. And the reason we like using it is because you pay for the journey regardless of the traffic, which can save you from getting scammed as most places. There'll be people trying it on. And if you've never been to a place before, it's easy to pay over the actual price, mainly because you've never been and you just don't know. But as a rule, we normally say if something seems too good to be true, it usually is. We are staying at the Romantic Hotel, which is about a 40 minute drive from the airport and it's located centrally in Hanoi, not too far from some of the popular tourist attractions that we'll show you a little bit later on in this video. And once we arrived at the hotel, we were greeted by the hotel manager, who was a really nice and friendly guy. And then once we checked in, we headed up to our room, which was on the second floor. And up on entering the room, it's a decent hotel room. It's got everything you need. It's got a good sized double bed. You can ring reception for an alarm call if you want. TV, it's got a mini bar. Little mini fridge and a safe. The bathroom was pretty good in this hotel as well. One of those lovely bum guns that you get in Asia. Squirt water. Quite like them. Had a nice shower as well. Which, really good water pressure. Which is always important when choosing a hotel. So yeah, we'd recommend this hotel actually. The Romantic Hotel. So as we headed out. We just dropped our bags off and then just hit the streets of Vietnam just to see what was around. Try not to get run over by a motorcycle. And speaking about motorcycles in Hanoi, it's estimated that there are about 5 million scooters and motorcycles. And in the whole country of Vietnam there's roughly 50 million according to the National Traffic Safety Committee. And that's five times as many as in Japan. The noises and smells you'll experience are quite unique to this place and it's hard to try and explain for you watching this video, but as you can hear for yourself, it's a lively place. And when crossing the roads, just be aware you'll have bikes and traffic coming at you from all angles, so just pick an opening and go for it. Rather than walking around aimlessly, we saw from Google Maps that there was a cathedral about five, ten minute walk from where we were, so we decided to go there for a look around. It was our first stop for the day. Uh, Buddhism's the leading religion of the country, which 55% identify as Buddhist in Vietnam, and Catholics represent about 7% of the population. And the reason I'm talking about Catholics is because the cathedral that we're going to is a Catholic cathedral called St. Joseph's. And that building there is St. Joseph's Cathedral, which, like I mentioned, is a Catholic cathedral. And it's on Na Chung Street in the Huan Kiem district of Hanoi. It's a late 19th century Gothic revival church that serves as the Cathedral of Roman Catholic. Archie, where do I get these texts from? It's so hard to pronounce some of these words. Anyway, you get the gist, you know what it is. The cathedral's named after Joseph, who was the patron saint of Vietnam. And we got pretty lucky actually, because we, when we arrived, the doors were closed and then all of a sudden they opened and we were allowed to go in. 
as you can hear in the background there there's people doing the uh, the prayers and the, the chanting which is quite nice to witness Although we didn't come to Vietnam just to come and look at churches, we had other plans as well. And after visiting the church, we booked a grab, another grab, to head to a place called Hanoi Sky. Which, as you might have guessed from the name, it's a place in the sky and it's at the top of this big building. This building's called the Lottie Centre Hanoi, which has world-class shopping centre inside, as well as being a hotel. And as you can see from those signs there, that's the Lottie Observation Deck, and to get to that, you go down the escalators, which is what we are about to do now. So yeah, you just head down and then... It's clearly signposted. There's also a big supermarket down here as well which we'll go and have a look in later after we've been up to the observation deck and this is where you get to the observation deck just go through and then you can purchase your tickets and there was no difference to buying your tickets online to buying it there really as you can see it was 230,000 dong and I'll convert that onto the screen into the different currencies works out in English about £7.66 and some people do buy the tickets off sites like TripAdvisor and other sites are available but we didn't find the need to do that really like with most places you can normally get them just as cheap if not cheaper actually on the doors and then to get up to the observation desk a nice man takes you up in the lift and it's up to the 60 fifth floor I believe which is 287 meters from the ground and as you go up you get to watch this nice little animation at the top of the lift and there we are once the doors open yeah high up now we hadn't done any research or anything like that before coming we just had heard about it and thought it'd be a good place to visit so we just rocked up and got our tickets there was no queues waiting times or anything we just got straight up and as you can see there's absolutely fantastic views of Hanoi city it's just starting to get dark at this point. And they've also got these things as well, like virtual reality. And this was one of the observation decks where, as you can see down there, there's a glass floor, which if you're a bit squeamish or nervous of heights, uh, don't look down. Yeah, okay, you can see the traffic below you there. Definitely a good place to come. And Fang enjoyed it because she's got to take some cool pictures. And there's a bar. I don't want this to be like one of those videos like when you go on holiday. And uh... So yeah, now we're walking through the Sky Bar where you can get a selection of drinks. And there's also a little gift shop as well. But there is actually a gift shop if you wanted to buy some souvenirs. And it's not your typical souvenir shop, like your usual kind of tart that we normally buy for people. This is actually uh, quite upmarket, decent stuff. Like that brown dragon, which costs about 65 million dong. And I'll convert that to the different currencies again on the screen. I think it works out just over two thousand pound the tiger there you can buy as well so there you go if you are in Hanoi we would highly recommend coming here I think it's a good place to come and obviously you get a different kind of perspective coming through the day is what you do by night 
there's lots of little places around where you can go and sit and chill out and have a drink or if you're into people watching or whatever it is you like to do it's uh, it's got a good atmosphere good music lots of drinks and also most importantly uh, for those who like the old social media photographs there's little bits like this where you can stand and get your photo taken with all those social media apps that people use nowadays sounding like I'm an old, an old man <laughs> Fang does love a photo and if I find any I'll put one in the video as well and there we are down in the basement you'll find a supermarket and we love to go to a supermarket just to have a look at all the different foods that you don't normally get in your home country normally pick up something that's a bit random I think we're just getting some pro probiotic yogurts to take back to the hotel I think this was a lady promoting salad dressing and got a little freebie which is always nice and then it was time to book another grab and head back to the hotel it was getting quite late at this point and you can see the building looks a bit different at night and the traffic here is a little bit mental to be honest once we got back to the hotel we went for a, a walk to go and find something to eat and we came across this place where you just picked all your meats and vegetables and it was all very fresh took a seat on the side of the road guy came out with a walk and a couple of different sauces and side dish of kimchi and yeah they just I think it's like a bit of jelly or something they put in the middle of that then light it and there's also like a barbecue inside where they cook all the meats and vegetables that you picked and then they'll just bring it to your table and put it on the wok basically just to keep warm and there we go I think that's everything we ordered. Looks nice, doesn't it? I'll let Fang explain what she's going to eat now. So on the busy streets of Vietnam and Hanoi. <laughs> and what are you having? This one is uh, beef. How is it? Fang said a Roy, and because she's Thai, that basically means delicious, in case you were wondering. And that was it for the day. Good day, all in all. And we're in Vietnam for three nights, and if you'd like to carry on the journey with us to Ho Chi Minh, Ha Long Bay, and all the other places that we're going to go and visit, you can do so by clicking on the next video for day two or by checking out our channel. And that was a dessert that Fang had picked up for 20,000 dong, which works out at about 66 pence. And I'm not sure what dessert it was. So if you do know what it's called, uh, leave us a, a little comment in the description. Much appreciated. And I guess all that's left for me to say is uh, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you on the next video. I go in the car. <laughs>